So today we're gonna take another look at Chimera branded, not so much branded, just mainly Chimera with a small, very, very small branded engine. And I've been practicing a lot for the upcoming regional season. I've got like three events in September and I really wanna be ready. And honestly, this is the deck that I wanna play right now. Kinda tired of branded, let's see how the format shapes and, and unfolds with the new ban list. But I think this deck has a lot of potential. It's doing really, really well worldwide. And there is some spice in this list specifically. But before all that, we have a giveaway. And yeah, you're not wrong. Three Bestial Lubellions coming to you as a giveaway for today's video. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and comment down below what is your favorite deck in the format. And yeah, you might have a chance of getting these three original print bad boys. So I've been messing with this deck a lot recently and I've been, you know, really enjoying it, really enjoying the play style and having a lot of fun and seeing some success with it locally and online as I prepare for my actual IRL events to bring home that Nightmare Magician uh, playmat and of course the black deck box is so, so nice. Of course, all this gear is from sleevechief.de, basically everything that I own at this point. So check them out down below. Thank you for sponsoring me. Um, and yeah, let's go over the deck list, a little bit of spice, a little bit of things that I'm testing out. I would like to hear in the comments below, what are you guys testing as your tech options? Because the engine is relatively straightforward. So in my build, I'm playing three Swords Knight um, for the Chimera engine, three Coral, three of the Gazelle, then two Burfamat. I think this is becoming relatively standard. I've even seen some builds playing two Coral, but I think overall, you wanna first of all max out on all of these because these are your starters and these two are just one card combos. Then, because we are playing the Fright for Engine, this can become a pretty good um, starter as well. If you open up Patchwork and access to Chimera Fusion, you can already go into your Gazelle. And two Burfam Hand because one, you want one of them in the deck. Also a really good, good card on its own, but you don't wanna max out on it because it's kind of a hard break. You, don't, uh, you can't really poly with it uh, with the Patchwork Engine because it's just two Fiends, you just go into Mud Dragon. So um, standard ratios, pretty much. Uh, I think this is pretty self-explanatory at this point. Then we are playing two Fallen of Almaz. A lot of people are running one. I think that it's a mistake. I understand running one because you wanna go crazy on like, you know, all your non-engine, which you still have a lot of, even, even if you play two Albas here. The reason I play two Albas is mainly because once you resolve Branded Fusion and you wanna do it as early as possible in the game because that gets your combo going, you're left with no Albas in your deck because you don't go into Lubellion. Then you have two Branded Fusions dead in your deck. Your grind game is really hurt and it's not so bad to open as well. So two of this, and then I am playing two Edge of Chain. Uh, I am playing the Fright for Patchwork. At the beginning, it's true, I said it was kind of bricky. Now I wanted to test it out to see if it brings me a little bit more gas. Um, the ability to chain block as well is really important when you go into Guardian Chimera. Against big boards, you really wanna be able to chain block with this. Um, so it's really, really important. And then I am spicing it up with um, one Nightmare Magician. I've been really, really enjoying this card. Um, this is an illusion, and if you don't know what it does, it says that if this card battles a monster, let's see if I can um, focus this up and read you the effect. If this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by that battle, so the same effect that all illusion monsters in this set has. Um, at the end of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can take control of that monster. Just like that, so it's not destroyed, you just take it, um, non-targeting, you can get rid of really big boards and just bring it to your field. This guy hypnotizes your opponent's monsters and takes them. But also, if another monster attacks during the start of the damage phase, um, you can destroy one card in the field. So another one of your monsters attacks, you can pop a card in the field, non-targeting. This card is really good because you can summon it um, with Burfamat from the graveyard. You can summon it with your Chimera King um, because it's an illusion. You can search for it if you need it. Really, really, really good. I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, and this is basically the, the engine lineup for uh, monsters. Then we have three Chimera Fusion, self-explanatory. Um, three Brand Fusion, you basically send Gazelle and Albaz from the deck to summon Rinbrum, then Gazelle searches you either Swords Knight or Kotal, and that's a one card combo from there. This is why you need Branded Fusion. And again, the two Albaz in the late game really comes up. I don't know why my camera is flickering, but hopefully that resolves itself. Then only two Patchwork, and I am playing two Poly. I don't want to break on it too much. Um, and then some Hand Traps. I'm playing one uh, Driver, one uh, Gamma here. This is not my idea. I've seen this go around. 
this is pretty solid. I'm beginning to like this. Um, your deck can lose to Drone Lockbird, which is really prevalent in this format, but you can really, really punish your opponent by playing into it and then activating Gamma. And I'm also playing the Synchro here because you can rip basically three cards over your opponent's hands if you resolve this card. So I think it's super impactful. This card is a good discard. This card is a good fusion material for Chimera because you can summon it again. And you know, you open Gamma, you're insane, basically. Um, so, you know, you can play into Droll with things like starting off with a patchwork, getting hit with a Droll, activating this. You win the game automatically on that spot. Um, and then 3 Ash Blossom for the monster hand traps. And then we have some other non-engine cards. We have 3 Infinite Impermanence. I really like this card. Good against a lot of things, mainly like Pearly. And another card that is really good against Pearly, but also helps you resolve your effects. You can book your own monsters to resolve them if you get hit with a Valor or Imperm, which is really, really prevalent. I found this really, really good. I'm really enjoying book right now. Uh, and then two talents. Again, you can really, really punish your opponent. The game is just out-resource them because you add so much card to the hand. And of course, if they hit you with the wrong hand trap or the wrong spot, or you have something like Call by the Grave that you can negate it and Gamma as well, you get to rip another card. You just out-resource them completely. 40 cards, um, a lot of non-engine, but I am using some of that engine, uh, non-engine slots to use for patchwork right now. Only six cards, really enjoying it. The ability to gain so much advantage and of course add cards to your hand, chain block, stuff like that, really, really good. Um, two Chimera, I don't really think you need three. Uh, usually win a little bit faster, um, so you don't really need it. But again, you have slots in your extra deck, so you know you can you can try it. The extra deck is not super tight, so it's really versatile. This guy is just amazing. Go into it, go into it. If you have another monster on board and you can get to this with two additional materials, this card attacks into your opponent. It's not destroyed, and the monster is not destroyed. Then you make its attack zero and you negate it. Then you attack an additional time for every other material except for Chimera. This card ends games. I'm really, really, really enjoying this card. And this card is absolutely wonderful. I'm, I'm really liking this card. So at one, it's fine. Then we just have a suite of other, other monsters. We have one Dragos Tabilia, one Garura, one Mud Dragon. Magnum is amazing. Um, some builds, I've played two of these already. Um, this card is really, really good. You really have to know when and how to use it. Um, so basically, it can put back a fusion or a polymerization card to your deck, then draw a card. But when an effect is activated, you can banish a fusion or polymerization from your graveyard as cost, and then target a card in the field and pop it. So you go into Chimera, then on your opponent's turn, you need to be ready with this ahead of time against Pearly as well. Really, really good, can pop their cards. Um, and again, you just leave them at a disadvantage. Then we have two Guardian Chimera. Um, this definitely comes up. I think, unfortunately, this is the, the expensive part of the deck. It does definitely come up, and I think that you should be investing in two if you want to play this deck successfully. And then for the Albaz suite of cards, we have one Mirror Jade, one Albion, one Lubelion, one Brynbrum, one of Titanic Lad. I really like Titanic Lad in this deck, especially with Nightmare Magician, because this guy can get over Noir, basically, or just force the Noir. Um, so it's good against Pearly. It's unaffected, the Noir can get rid of it, and you can guarantee that you get rid of the Noir. Um, and again, it's a good send-off, you can send it, and then during the end phase, surprise your opponent with uh, Fallen Valbaz, I think is really good. Um, again, super flexible. I'm not playing Super Poly in this deck at all, by the way. Not even in the side, but you can consider playing this in the side deck, uh, Super Poly, then you can use these monsters that I already have in the deck. And then, the Omega. The ultimate punish, if you can punish your opponent by activating and resolving Gamma, Gamma can be just a fusion material, Driver is not necessarily a brick and you can fuse away with it, but if you manage to resolve this, right, before you get locked into fusions with Burfamat, you just win the game. You rip three cards out of your opponent's hand, your opponent starts off with three cards and you have like, you know, Chimera Fusion and two additional negates. Um, this is my side deck. Um, you know, customize it to your locals, to your tournament, to your meta. Um, it's been working pretty good. So uh, one duster and then two uh, cosmic. Then we're playing three evenly matched, three droll, three nib, just high impact stuff, two radian. And then the one secret card that I don't have, but will show on the screen right now is the big spice. 
Um, and I purchased, I actually ordered this card way before it came out in the, uh, way before this deck came out in the TCG. I was gonna be ready. The guy canceled my order and I was like, I'll get it here, um, whatever. This is King Tiger Wang Hu. Basically, it's a level four uh, beast. You can search this off of Burfamat and you can summon it on your opponent's turn using the Chimera King, the small Chimera King from the graveyard because it can summon any beast. You summon it and basically it's uh, 700, uh, 1700 attack. When a monster is summoned, normal special, um, and it has uh, 1400 attack or less, you destroy that monster. So against Pearly, against Sprite, against Runic, against Life Twin, and against Fluandries, this card annihilates them. You put this on the board, not this, but the real card that I don't have with me right now. You put this on the board, every, every flu monster, once it's summoned, it's get, it gets destroyed. Every Pearly, they can't stick it to the board in order to exceed. Sprite cannot, um, Runic most of the time cannot uh, keep the hug in its place. Just really, really good. This is a very good side deck card. Radium, um, by the way, we're playing because it's a fiend. You can fuse away with it if you get stuck really good as well and you need that. And uh, yeah, this is basically it. Uh, I'm gonna get this copy tomorrow at Locals. So um, I'm gonna send pictures over on Twitter. So uh, follow me on Twitter if you haven't yet. And of course, don't forget to participate in this $150 giveaway for three Bestial Luvelians from Darkwing Blast. Again, all you have to do, be subscribed, turn on notifications and comment down below what is your favorite deck in the format? I'll be sending this your way really soon, hopefully. Um, stick around on Twitter. I'll announce when I actually announce the winners, but usually next live stream we're going to announce that. So get these while they're hot. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Again, shout out to Sleeve Chief for the merch and Tier Zero for the cards. Check them out below in the description. Leave a like, subscribe. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.